How's it going everyone? This video is for all the video editors and special effects artists out there who want to get the best performance possible from their computers while editing and rendering without needing to upgrade your computer. So the first step you're going to want to do is locate where you have your Adobe programs installed. For me it's under the C drive and in regular program files. My, since I have a 64-bit computer it's not under x86. Then go into Adobe and locate which one you're going to do first. In my case it's Premiere Pro. Scroll down to the very bottom, make sure you're filtering by type as well, so all text documents appear at the bottom. You're going to want to right click and create a new text document. You're going to want to rename it to exactly this. Case sensitive and all. CUDA underscore supported underscore cards dot text. It's very important you get it exactly at that point. All information that I mention is going to be inside the description below. So, within this, you're going to want to type your graphics card's name. If you want to do GeForce, you, make sure, you want to make sure that it is the capital F on F in GeForce, just like how I have it. Okay, so you want to right click and create a new text document again, although this time you're going to name it settings.ini. Just like this, then you're going to go ahead and delete dot text. Make sure you hit yes, and it's created. You want to open it up and type exactly what I type. The, this will be in the description below as well. You just want to make sure you have it exactly as I have it, otherwise it won't work properly. So the first part of this should say settings. Pretty basic. It's, it's letting Adobe know that this file is the settings file. You want to set your mode equal to developer so that you're able to change these settings that you're about to do. And you want to make the M thread equal to enabled. This will, in, this will enable multi-threading. The next step you want to do is tell it how many cores it's allowed to use. So you type in M thread count equals however many cores you want to allow it to use. I'm going to choose 11 because I have 12 logical cores. This is specific to your computer. So you want to make sure that you check it. And to check it, you want to hit Control alt delete go down to Task Manager, and check the Performance tab. And under CPU, you'll see Cores, which is 6, and Logical Processors, which is 12. You at least want to use one less than how many logical processors you have, otherwise it will crash Windows. Because Windows needs its own processor to actually run. So, because I have 12 there, I chose 11 best performance towards that for rendering. The next part is SLI. SLI is basically if you have two graphics cards running in unison. If you only have one graphics card, you want to set this to false. Since I have two GTX 1080s in my computer, I set this to true for my computer, but you have to know what you have inside of your computer to be able to do this. Next up would be SLI mode and set it equal to all. It doesn't matter if you have true or false for the last step, make sure it says all. The next thing you want to do is SLI VRAM and set it equal to as much RAM as you have for graphics. This isn't your regular RAM, this is your graphics card RAM. To find that out, just Google your graphics card. Whatever type you have, I have an ASUS Strix GeForce 1080, well two of them, and each of them is, has 8 gigabytes. Since each of them has 8 gigs, that's a sick total of 16 gigs between the two. And you have to do this in megabyte form, which in the description I'll have the different gigabytes to megabytes. So in my case, it's going to be 16,384 megabytes. Next thing you want to do is type in what level of priority it has. I'm set, you, you probably want to set it to high so that it, Windows sees it as the most important program running at that point. You also want to type in purge temp and equal that to true. Then turn scaling equal to low, cloud equal to false, and this one's also specific to your computer. I have two displays, although display number one is my main display that I want to edit on. So to find it, you want to go to start and then type in display settings just as I just did, and find out which display number you are using. Whatever one you want it to use, set it equal to that number, and there you go. The next thing you want to type is load when needed, 
This will essentially make it so that it doesn't automatically load every single effect and transition at the beginning of startup to improve that speed. Lastly, you want to set up your speakers. This is also dependent on how your setup is. For me, I have Dolby Digital Surround Sound 7.1. So I'm going to so go ahead and set mine to 7.1, but here are the three options you can choose between. Choose 2 if you just have two regular speakers. Choose 5.1 if you have Dolby Digital uh, 5.1. Whereas, like I said, in my case, I have 7.1, so I'm setting it equal to 7.1 here. And that's it for this file. So you want to go ahead and save it. Next up, you want to go ahead and copy it, because we're going to put that exact same settings.ini file inside of After Effects. Locate After Effects, go into Support Files, and paste it right in here. Now I already have my settings in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it, but it probably won't ask you to replace anything as you don't have the file. So you're going to scroll until you find where the Ray Tracer supported cards are, open that up, and here's the supported cards it currently has. Now it does not have my GTX 1080 in there, but to, si to make your card supported, you simply just add it, just as I am. You want to follow the same format as they do, so capital G, capital F, capital GTX, and the number you have. Save it. Close out of this, and you're good. Gonna go ahead and open Premiere Pro. Hit new project. And now you'll have a new setting here. Where it says renderer, you want to change this to CUDA, so that it's properly utilizing what you just told it it can use. Hit OK. And it's done. Just going to throw in a test file here. Now I'll go ahead and show you what kind of difference it made for my computer. I'm going to render the same exact file before and after the settings. And I'm probably going to do a 4K 3 minute long file rendering at 10 megabits per second as my target. Now as you can see, it's rendering a 3 minute long 4K file at 10 megabits per second as its target much, much faster than it did before I optimized with the settings. Now it really depends on how much hardware you have as to how much of a difference it's going to make, but because I pretty much have a maxed out computer, it's going to make the biggest difference in the world, because before it wasn't utilizing both graphics cards, it wasn't utilizing the 16 gigs of VRAM, it wasn't utilizing all 11 cores I'm allowing it to use, so you can just see just how much faster it did finish. Okay, guys, <laughs> welcome back to Mad vs. Indie Games 11, I believe. That